Coming up on Around Kern County, the Sheriff's Office is paying respect to September 11th. We're giving you a look at their newly designed patch. And Meadowsfield Airport has undergone some exciting renovations. Stay tuned for a report right from the terminal when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week, our nation observes Patriot Day, a holiday on September 11th that commemorates the lives lost during the 2001 terrorist attacks. Organizations throughout our county will be participating in a series of events to pay their respects. Our Veterans Service Department will be holding a Veterans Resource Fair before the 17th Annual Armed Forces Support Foundation 9-11 Memorial Support Our Troops Ride at Bakersfield Harley-Davidson. And the Kern County Fire Department and Sheriff's Office will be participating in the Always Remember 9-11 Memorial Ceremony at Fire Station 15 at 9 in the morning on this Sunday. And as another way to honor those killed on this tragic day 21 years ago, the Kern County Sheriff's Office has unveiled a new patch for their deputies to wear as they serve our community. Take a look. You can see it features the twin towers that double as the number 11, as well as the American flag in the shape of the Pentagon. The patch also has a Flight 93 to honor those who tragically lost their lives. The Sheriff's Office says this patch represents their commitment to never forgetting the horrific events of that day and all of the lives lost in this tragedy. Any way that we can um, relate to members of our community, anything that they went through that we also went through, ways that we can share in something common um, in a cause that we all agree on is always really important to remind people that we're people too and we believe in the same things you believe in. The call to action for all Americans after 9-11 was never forget. And so this is our way of, of keeping the memory alive, um, not forgetting all of the brave people who died and who fought and who were affected by the horrific events of September 11th. Deputies, detention deputies, and sheriff's aides have the option of wearing this patch on their left sleeve. This week, our state is experiencing some of the highest temperatures in California history. As our county takes on the heat wave, we want to make sure our community stays safe. Here are a few tips. If you don't have air conditioning in your home, visit public places that do, such as a local restaurant or store. As a reminder, Kern County has free cooling centers throughout our area. You can find their locations and hours of operation on our website, kerncounty.com. Try to limit your time outdoors, and if you do need to go outside, wear loose, lightweight clothing, stay hydrated, and check on your loved ones, especially those with a health condition or someone who is elderly. Kern County Public Health is working to remind residents how to beat the heat and know the symptoms of heat-related illness. The key factor is remember it's hot. Remember that it's September in Bakersfield, let alone we're seeing record temperatures. It's hot, so that means prepare yourself. You should be drinking fluids and hydrating long before you go outside. If you wait until you're outside and you're sweating and then you try and, and hydrate, you're going you're gonna to be fighting a losing battle. Um, so the key factor is remember it's hot. If you have to be outside for any length of time, if you have to work outside, plan ahead. Make sure you start infusing fluids before you get out there. Make sure you continue to drink while you're out there working. During this heat wave, all Californians are asked to conserve energy between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. to avoid strain on our state's power grid. For more information and resources, please visit caloes.ca.gov. Did you know one of our Kern County departments is the airport? Meadowsfield was the first county-owned airport in the nation and was originally known as Kern County Airport No. 1. Now renamed to Meadows Field, our airport has recently undergone some renovations and Anna Marie Odo, part of our Kern County communications team, is there now with a wrap up. 
We're here at Meadowsfield Airport to showcase part one of an exciting project. The William M. Thomas Terminal has just completed a series of renovations. From a baggage claim remodel to new art displays, our local airport now highlights Kern County's biggest attractions. A huge part of our community is our veterans. Take a look at the special banner we've installed to honor their achievements. Let's go to the other side and see what they've been up to. Come with me. Our airport can connect you to any place in the world right from your own backyard with direct flights to our country's biggest hubs, including Phoenix, Denver, Dallas-Fort Worth, and San Francisco. Also, the airport is one of the many Kern County departments that is recently rebranded. They now have a new logo and slogan, but still provide the same great service. Stay tuned for more updates when part two of our project is complete. Remember, start here, go anywhere. Fly VFL, your gateway to boundless travel. We are sharing some exciting news. The McFarland Branch Library is officially reopening five days a week. The library will expand their days of operation beginning Monday, September 12th, and will be open between the hours of 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. The McFarland Branch has been a staple in our community for over 100 years and was established in 1913 as a reading room in a Methodist church. From there, the library moved to a private residence, then to a pharmacy. And in 1919, McFarland residents raised funds to purchase land for a library site. Here's a look at the upcoming events at the McFarland Branch Library. Mondays will be crafting, Tuesdays will be a Lego challenge, Wednesdays will be a family story time, and Thursdays and Fridays will be activities for adults. Every day of the week, the library will provide snacks in the stacks to all of their guests between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. For a full list of McFarland Branch programs and activities, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And we're ending today with Kern County leaders coming to an area near you. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan will be in Kernville Monday, September 12th, Lost Hills Thursday, September 15th, Stallion Springs Monday, September 19th, and Old Stockdale Tuesday, September 20th. For educational workshops about Measure K, Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, Measure K would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety, homelessness, attracting jobs and industries, and addressing mental health and addiction challenges. Unincorporated residents will consider Measure K on the November 8, 2022 ballot. Our leaders have more in-person meetings to come, but don't worry if you can't attend. They'll be hosting two virtual workshops later in October. For that information, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.